Hello, welcome back again. I know it's a lot of videos in this series, but yeah, I really want people to be able to know about this stuff. So I'm just going to do it because that's what I want to do. Um, so last time I stopped, August 24th, I believe. Um, so we're still talking about prayer because that's what I studied for the whole month of August. Um, I am not a prayer expert now. <laughs> I'm just learning how to pray um, and things like that and how to make it part of my daily life. And there's my boyfriend calling me. So, yeah, I'm okay. stop. Sorry. I'm back. Um, as you can see, I'm in different clothes. It's a whole nother day. Um, and yeah, because I just went to talking to my boyfriend. So, I didn't. Yeah, I, I never came back. But I'm back now. Honestly, it's the next day. So, don't even worry about it. But I was on, what, August 26th, I think I said. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start there. Um, but, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm taking too long. Okay, so from August 26th, um, did I say 26th or 24th? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just back up a little bit to the 24, just because I don't remember. But, um, okay. I was going to take out my hair. That's why I have this bonnet on. But I honestly don't look bad with the bonnet on. So, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to take it out. Um, but I'll tell you a story about my hair in a little bit. Like, in another video. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe at the end of this video if I have time. Okay, I'm wasting time. Okay. So, I'm going to start back to the 24th. Um, talked about raw prayers. Um, so... Raw prayer is just telling God what's on your heart or what's on your mind, no matter, like, I guess, it, the, the, the word that um, the lesson used was no matter how offensive it is to God, um, I guess that means if you think it's offensive, like, because there are times, I mean, we're human, so we get diff many different emotions, even towards God, when we know we shouldn't feel certain things towards Him, like, we may be angry. God, just like you can be angry at your parents or at your siblings or at your grandparents or anything like that. So, um, you know, sometimes you may feel like you may be angry with God because maybe something's not going the way you want it to go or anything like that. And that's honestly okay to say in a prayer, um, which I found to be like, wow, like cool. Um, so like it says here, we just like many, it's all throughout the Bible, it said in the lesson, um, many people have questioned God's character, um, and it may seem like sometimes God may be acting uh, unfair or harsh, but He is never unfair or harsh. He knows what's best for us, um, and so that's why He deserves our praise, even if we do feel a little upset with Him. So, raw prayers be like I said, sincerity is the best part of prayer because I mean God knows your heart and your mind anyway so it's no need to try to hide anything you feel from him because he knows like deep down you may feel angry with him about something so might as well voice it out um yes and then next um prayer of confession so as I've said in whatever video I said confession is an important thing and I do feel like when you do confess to God it's like a relief, especially if you say it out loud or write it down. Uh, it just feels like a relief. It's like lifting a burden off of your shoulders, off of your heart, off of your mind. You don't have to think about the guilt of it anymore. Um, so confession is a good, a big part of prayer as well. Um, okay, prayer and fasting. Um, so fasting is the practice a focus of us focusing on feeding our minds and spirits um and we kind of forsake physical food so i know for me personally i kind of do something like that every day but not really but like in the mornings i try to get into the word first so i get my spiritual food and then i'll go get physical food Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, your girl go and get that physical food, and then I'll read my word as I eat my physical food. Um, I mean, you 
girl is fat. I'm human too, man. Okay, I'm not perfect at this. But prayer and fasting definitely helps. Um, and also, uh, if you decide to fast more than just like, like me, it's like best if I fast just in the morning or if I fast from night until the afternoon or something like that. Um, intermittent fasting and stuff can actually help you lose weight as well. But don't do it or don't force yourself to do it if you feel like overly hungry. But another key to when you're fasting and praying is when you do feel hungry and you're trying to fast for God, like don't just go and be like, give up and be like, oh, I'm just going to go eat because I'm starving. Just sit and pray and think of God and talk to God. And honestly, that could actually help you. It actually does work because it kind of takes your mind. God will take your mind off of physical food and give you more of him. So yes um next is prayer and journaling so i do that i just started doing journaling i didn't even learn about really writing stuff down really until campus outreach because really for me like i felt like well why would i write stuff down but i'm not going to look at it again like it's like when i used to go well not when i used well yeah when i used to go to sunday school um, we would each have our own Sunday school book and I would write in it and everything but I noticed that when we were done with the book I would literally just throw the book away I never kept the book like a day even after the last whatever the last date was in the book like if the last day was December 31st January 1st it was in the trash okay so I never went back and looked over anything never went back and studied everything refreshed in my mind but journaling is a really good part of not only for your own mental life but also for your spiritual life because you can go back and look at what you wrote just in case like who knows maybe in a couple months my prayer life will slip again because I'm human and it happens to all of us and my prayer life may slip and I'm you and I'll just say oh well let me go back to August where I talked about prayer and reread that and recenter my life um, or refocus my prayer life back on God so yeah and also journaling can help you actually like if you don't know how to pray it can kind of teach you how to pray because all you have to do is write down what you feel and what you want to tell God and then after you write it you can say it out loud or you can do like me and talk it out loud as you write I write and then I pause and talk about what I just said and then or talk about what I just wrote and then continue writing so prayer and journaling um, those were four of the big ones that I had for prayer, um, cause that's like the end, I believe, that's the last of it, cause that was August, what, 27, and I think I didn't have another, I think I finished the lesson on August 27th, so I didn't do any other lessons on the 30th and the 31st, or from the 28th to the 31st, sorry, so... Yeah, because then I went straight to November. Um, so, yeah. So that's the thing about prayer. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments that you think you could uh, leave in the comment section below. What am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> if you have any questions for me about what I think about certain prayers or whatever, leave it in the comment section below if you have any advice for me who is or you know learning still learning how to pray i can't talk today <laughs> i really cannot talk um i'm sorry i'm tired i'm like so tired um for no reason but yeah leave all that stuff in the comment section below um yeah give this video a like if you want um and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these um, oh, I guess I can say what I'm going through for September. Uh, September, I'm going, uh, studying what the Bible has to say about anxiety, um, and worry and things like that. Um, just because I, I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety. I think, I think I already said this in the video, but, so yeah, I'm studying anxiety for the month of September. I don't go in a particular order. I just go by how I feel. So, like, I really wanted to focus on my prayer life. So, that's why I did prayer last month. And then I've been feeling a little bit anxious this month. So, I was like, well, 
I'll study anxiety this month. Um, so, yes. But that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me through all my long talks. Um, and what better way to end a, a video talking about prayer life than with a prayer, right? So I'm going to pray um, for us, if you don't mind. And then that'll be the end of the video, I promise. Because I talked for a very long time, as you can see, because we're already at 10 minutes. Um, but we're over 10 minutes because I'm merging two videos together, aren't I? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Let's pray. Um, hey, Father God, uh, we thank you for this time to be in your word, studying your word, and reviewing your word. Um, we thank you for all that you've done for us, everything that you've given us, everything that you will give us, because we know you know what's best for us. Uh, Lord, um, I just ask on today for those who are watching... Um, or those who may just be listening, um, that uh, you help with their prayer life to bring them closer to you. Um, I ask that you also help me in my prayer life so that I can continue to grow closer to you and grow in my walk with you, um, Father God. Uh, we thank you uh, for this time, um, and we ask that you just keep prayer um, and your word in our hearts and in our minds and let us be free to come to you in your name amen boom that's it okay so thanks for watching and yeah i'll see y'all in the next video